Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be creating a snow angel. Start by writing your name and teacher code on the back of your paper. Then on the front, sketch a light rainbow line towards the top of your paper. Sketch two horizontal lines on each side. And then a curved line down and in on each side. Then bring two lines straight down and connect across the bottom. This will be the shape for your snow angel. Now use some light blue paint to fill in this shape. Now for the outside around the snow angel, we will be creating an even lighter value. There is no need to rinse your brush. Just dip your brush into the white paint and start dabbing it around the outside. Adding just a little water will help to spread the paint. Feel free to let some of the white paper show through too. When you're done, put this over on the drying rack. Now we will be working on the coat. Pick a colored sheet of paper for your coat and fold it in half, like a card. Find the closed side and line the tracer up along the folded edge, not the open side. Take your pencil and trace. This will be the arm and this will be the side of the jacket. Now keeping the paper folded, carefully cut around the shape. When you open it, you should have a symmetrical jacket. That means the same on both sides. This looks good. It might be a little big though, so I'm going to trim some of the edges off. It just depends if you want a large parka type jacket or a smaller jacket. You can decide. Now let's add a few details with a Sharpie. You can add a collar, some buttons, and maybe some pockets. When you're done, be sure to write your name on the back using a pencil. Today we will be creating the person for our snow angel. You'll be making a head, a hat, some mittens, some boots, and maybe even a scarf. Pick a color for your person's face. You can use peach, tan, or brown. I'm using the tan color today. Start by sketching out an oval with your pencil and then carefully cut it out with your scissors. Let's create some details using a fine tip Sharpie. You can make the person's eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Next, we'll make the boots. Start by folding a black piece of paper in half. This tracer is for a girl's boot, and this is more for a boy's boot, but you can decide which one you want to use. One just has a little more of a heel. Trace around the shape, and then keeping the paper folded, cut this shape out. When you're finished, you should have two boots. Now 
Now I need to find some paper for his snow pants. I'm going to need two long rectangles. This might work. These should fit just right. Now let's work on his hat. will fit nicely. I think I'll cut out one of these circles to make a pom-pom for the top of his hat. There, perfect! Now let's make some mittens. There, these look great. Now let's work on getting all these little pieces glued down. When you glue down the boots, make sure the toes are both pointing outward so it looks like the person is laying down in the snow. The last thing I need is a scarf. I'm going to need two long rectangles and then I'll cut some fringe along the bottom. There, now let's flip this over and give it a quick little massage. You can choose three or four buttons to glue onto your jacket. Just be sure to use the tacky glue. When you're done, be sure to put the little cap back on and listen for the little click. The last thing I will add is his hair. I'm going to use this orange color. For the yarn or the hair, we will be using the bottle glue. Gently place the yarn down in the glue and let it dry. The 
the last thing we will do is spray some snow onto our snow angel. Oops, I almost forgot. I wanted to add just a couple more details with my colored pencils. I'm gonna use a brown to create some eyebrows and then just a little bit of red or pink to create his rosy cheeks. I hope you have fun creating your snow angel project. <laughs>